Ohio. Welcome back to PA Harness Week. It is time now to go around the ovals of, of the country and find out the biggest races. It's time for In the Bike. The North America Cup Final took place. A million and a half on the line and rock and roll heaven with John Campbell summoning for the injured Dan Dubé. And we do wish Danny well, a speedy and complete recovery. He was the two to one chalk. All Speed Hanover and Ron Pierce was the five to two second choice. And sports writer, who has not regained his two year old form, was the three to one third choice with Mark McDonald. It was an exciting heat. Let's watch. Here's Ken Middleton. Sports writer leads the way. Coming to him on the outside, from in second now, Fred and Ginger. Bottled up in third is Kyle Major, tracking cover outside from in fourth now. That's rock and roll heaven. All speed Hanover suddenly third out from in fifth. We will see is trapped at the inside from in sixth. Three quarters of a mile. Sports writer opens up two lengths now. Three quarters in 120 and four. The fastest three quarters ever in cup history. Sports writer comes into the stretch. Kyle Major fully extended back in second. Overland in third is Fred and Ginger. Rock and roll heaven on the far outside from in fourth. Shooting through at the rail as we will see with light pace. Sports writer there coming to him as we will see at the inside. We will see at the rail. Sports writer's going to fight him off. You expect with a buck with one million dollars plus on the line, it's going to be a great heat, and it didn't disappoint. Sports writer was an absolute monster, a moose, a gorilla. He went to the front with Mark McDonald. He dared everybody to come get him. They all tried, and nobody could. And when the real racing started at the head of the lane, he just he dropped them like a bad habit. Unbelievable. Sports writer wins, blew their doors off in 148 and 3. And obviously, the hoof problems that he has had in the past, Casey Coleman found out what the deal is. And this horse is back to his two year old form. And it's exciting to look forward to the Meadowlands space, which will be the Olympics in a couple of weeks. Now we're going to go to the Fan Hanover. And with that, here's Heather. Wow. I didn't know if you're going to take a breath there, but you did. <laughs> Woo! It's my turn. Okay. Yes, we got the Fan Hanover. It's going for over $600,000 here. Three-year-old pacing fillies. Western Silk at odds of 9 to 1. One by a neck over favorite. Put on a show in 150 and 1. By the way, put on a show. Wow. She came from, like, the concession stand. Just missed. Fancy Philly was third. Now Mark McDonald drove Western Silk for trainer owner Casey Coleman. Yes, that's the same duo that paired up to win the North America Cup that we just saw. And now with the Good Times final, here's Heather. Yeah, we have three-year-old trotting colts here. And I just want to clarify that the Good Times final, not named after that show that, like, J.J. was on when he was like, Dynamite, right? Is he going to show where he said Dynamite? <laughs> This this race is actually named after a famous horse, so I just wanted to make that clear to everybody. Good clarification. Thank you. Okay, so Sing Jesse Singh paid 1060 in this one, one by a head over priority photo in 153 and three. Winsung Galaxy was third, and followed by favorite text me who was fourth. Jody Jamison drove Sing Jesse Singh for trainer Ron Burr. Let us go to the States again. Going to go to Middle America, to Indiana Downs, and the $200,000 Dan Patch Open. Boy, what a race. All the top older horses were there. The Jaws of Life, Shark Gesture, was sent off as the 3-5 to five chalk, trying to make chum out of his competition. Three quarters and one, 21 and three. They're on their way home. It's Shark Gesture to the inside. Juan the West chasing in second to the outside at Tokyo. With less than an eighth of a mile to go, and Shark Gesture is stepping away, opening up by four. This race could be summed up in two words, Shark Gesture. I don't know who's going to beat this animal. What a moose. The shark went to the front, cut all the fractions. Then he hit the three-quarter pole in 121 and three, and Brennan let him roll. The Minister Speed got him going. He got the last half in 26 and three to win by a dozen in 148 and one. Can I get a wow, please? Wow, please. One the West was a non-menacing second. Hypnotic Blue Chip and Mike Lachance finished third. And now go to the Meadowlands, if you don't mind, for the Titan Cup prep. It was a great race. And with that, here's Heather. 
Okay, the field is summed up in two words. <laughs> Star-studded. See, like flattery, you know what I mean? Or, Star-studded uh, could be a hyphenated word. That could be one word. Right? Okay, okay, gotcha. All right, but we do have Lucky Jim in here. We've got Enough Talk, Buckeye St. Pat, Arch Madness, and Corleone Cosmos. So which millionaire is going to get the job done? Driver Ron Pierce and Enough Talk leave out at post four. Now they get the early lead, then they let Arch Madness go, and they get a perfect trip. Now that garden spot journey takes Enough Talk to the finish line in 151, and a victory by two lengths. And he was odds of, do you know? 15 to 1. Very good. That's better thinking about it. That was the goofiest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Because he beat Lucky Jim earlier in the year, and then he went across the pond with Lucky Jim. I know. There's a lot of good horses in this race. And that was, by the way, his 30th career win. So, all right, to enough talk. Um, if you want to know, Lucky Jim was second. Arch Madness settled for third. And Arch Madness went up at 2 to 5 against that field. Which was nuts. Buckeye St. Pat, by the way, was was pretty huge. Raced a pretty good mile. Yeah, if you're gonna bet, you need to call Steve Ross first because he's like, you know. Well, call my <laughs> great 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 grandmother Betsy's making the flag. I don't know what those betters are thinking anyway. Okay, that's gonna do it for us. Just a reminder: it's July 4th weekend. Don't drink and drive. Have a safe weekend. I got a great way you can spend it. Why don't you come out here to Harris Chester tomorrow? On the 4th, what a great way to spend it. The Betsy Ross for the top pacing mares in America will be contested right here at Harris Chester. And for all of us here at PA Harness Week, my partner Heather Moffat, I'm Steve Ross. Have yourself a terrific week. Until next week, take care. Oh, they go. Explosive matter hits the Colonial easily. Underway.